So after two very very busy days in Bangkok, Aidan and I then headed to Lampang in the north of Thailand to spend some time with Sophie and Freya who have been teaching here since October last year. So when we arrived we kind of headed up to the roof and I loved how green it was and how it was surrounded by these beautiful mountains. It really felt quite calm and peaceful and we had some lunch in this little cafe and yeah just had a lovely first chill day in Lampang. On our first Saturday in Thailand we headed out on this boat slash raft thing um, and we're in this really gorgeous spot. It felt quite rainforest like because it was raining as well and yeah just had a really enjoyable day having some food some drinks and getting to know each other really this was my favorite day of the trip so far so we headed to the mountains near Lampang and we're currently like traveling in this little Song Tao which is a kind of like the buses slash taxis that you get here in Thailand it was a really scenic route to get there and you can just about see the little pagodas peeking through the clouds <laughs> I'll let you enjoy the rest of the clips. We essentially walked up to the top of the mountain and it was absolutely stunning. The way the clouds move is so cool.
if I could tell you I don't think you'd believe How long I felt this way I'm begging you to stay And if I could show you I'd hope that you could see All the possibilities There could be a place for you and me And under the stars You pack up your car Cause you're going far away from here mm -hmm. I wish I could stall But I never call And you're going So it's currently the 8th of August, I believe, Wednesday the 8th of August and I've now been in Thailand for a week which like it's kind of simultaneously feels like we've been here forever and also like we've just arrived so yeah a week feels like not the right amount of time for how long we've been here um, but I've got a few notes in my journal and I thought I'd just like share, give a few updates how I've been feeling and yeah all in all it's been like a really really good week I have been like acclimatizing to the heat it's bloody boiling um very humid and like sticky which I don't necessarily enjoy I find it quite uncomfortable but um in Lampang where we are now it's a lot cooler and like less polluted than Bangkok when we arrived in Bangkok it was kind of like quite thick and like heavy in the air um but yeah, I'm enjoying the rain as well because we're here in rainy season and it is actually quite nice like having it to cool you down even though it's still really hot when it rains. But um, yeah, um, it's the 9th of August, sorry. Um, yeah, so Freya is at work at the moment. So I'm just like chilling in her apartment. Um, we're going to go to a ceramics um, museum market kind of thing in a bit. But I thought I'd do a little update now. Yeah, so I first started this journal on the plane on the way over, which was last Wednesday, or last Tuesday. Kind of time was a bit all over the place because we um, set off at like 3am from home and arrived in Bangkok at like 6am Bangkok time, which was like midnight our time. So it, honestly, time was like all over the place and it was, <laughs> it was a long day that first day. Some little highlights from the week. So at the weekend, we went to... Um, well, on Saturday we hired a boat and like went into the kind of mountains, jungle kind of area, like on the boat. Um, quite a big kind of like square raft that moves very slowly um, and just had some drinks and like chats on the boat, which was nice like to meet Freya's friends and to kind of, yeah, have a bit of like chill time after two very hectic days in Bangkok. Um, we had a little like kayak on the boat so we went kayaking and the scenery was just gorgeous like um very very remote and it's the sort of thing that like as a tourist i wouldn't really have the opportunity to do unless i was here like with my friends who are teaching her um so that was really nice and yeah felt like felt like we'd kind of arrived um enjoyed that a lot sunday we went to the mountain temples in lampang which was just gorgeous i loved that so much i love that sort of thing where you're like um hiking and oh, it's not really that much of a walk but like yeah climbing up to the top of this mountain they had all these little pagodas and we were basically in the clouds because it had been yeah like it was quite a cloudy day so the clouds had come up to the height of the mountains and it almost felt like there was no ground beneath you it was like just this little like top of the mountain with the pagodas and the clouds below very very pretty um yeah and then that day we then went to the hot springs um in uh, chason national park which is quite close i have like boiling water coming out of this river um and these little baths that you can go in and immerse yourself in the really hot water and uh, we'll like paddle your feet in them as well so we did that and yeah Aiden and i have been exploring the temples around lampang there's loads um and all in all just like kind of acclimatizing i'd say is how i describe this week having lots of new experiences but we've had a nice like opportunity to breathe and just settle and 
kind of yeah get accustomed to it because it is quite a quite an abrupt like change from the UK to Thailand um but yeah grateful for like the the times to just chill and spend time with Freya to meet Sophie and Freya's friends out here like it's been really really lovely um and a long time coming so yeah that's been great uh what else do i want to share um yeah a few moments of like kind of anxiety about the fact that it's such a long time that we're away for like it's, it swings around about because i'm really glad that we are here for such a long time because it gives you more time to to breathe and like not have each day need to be jam-packed and to make the most of like every single second because i think I definitely need some like downtime and time to just reflect and you know process it a little bit so um yeah that's been kind of on my mind the fact that it's such a long time to go home but like not necessarily in the sense that I want to go home just in the sense of like it is a long time and we're now like living it it's been in the planning for so long if you watched the previous video where I'm like talking about all the plans from like literally January to, to August. So yeah, it feels great and also kind of strange to be finally living it. But um, yeah, it's, it's been wonderful.